Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another and maybe the last Dinosaur King tier list I'll do. And yes, we have done fire, water, lightning, earth, grass and wind. So that leaves only the secret dinosaurs. And this one's going to be quite a quick one because <laughs> not many secret dinosaurs in the game, is there? And we own, well, we have three brackets here because none of these are, none of these secret dinosaurs are trash trash. So we don't need a C tier. They are all worthy high tier dinosaurs and they are all pretty good. But there are variations among the secret dinosaurs, so some of them are better than the others. And that's why we have a tier list. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Because, again, you have like the first wave of secrets, which have 2000 strength and 1000 tech, which make them pretty, pretty decent. And then you have the second wave of secrets, which has 2000 strength and 200 technique, but they have more attack except for one of them which you'll find out which one that is later and then you have the uh, oddities the eoraptor and in fact the super fairy which was the very last secret dinosaur we got well eoraptor technically is the last secret dinosaur we got because it's well the last new secret dinosaur super fairy is just a fairy but souped up but yeah let's 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 not jibber jabber let's get on with this tier list then it's quite fitting I do this tier list during the time that I'm accepting entries for my tournament. So don't let any don't let any of these decisions influence your teams. You just pick the teams you want to pick, okay? And without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, we'll we'll do the easy one first. The Super Therizinosaurus is is S tier, like, and I can't you can't argue against it being S tier. Not much to say really. It's a it's it's a solid secret dinosaur, and you can see why I have to. It's, it's basically on par with Super Eocark. Although Eocark does have more versatility to it because of the moves it can use and such. So yeah, Super Fairy is on par with Super Eocark. I'd probably say he's the second best Super Dino we have. Alright, now for the regular Fairy. Now the regular Fairy in the anime, in the anime I would probably say, other than the Cryo and Brontnikins, I would say is the strongest secret dinosaur we saw. Definitely the strongest one we saw in season one. If it, it, it took down, well, it took down everybody, and it probably would have finished Chomp off. Let's be real, Chomp was basically exhausted to the point of collapse, and even and you could tell that when he tried to pull, when Chomp tried to pull him up, and he could just couldn't do it because he was just so weakened by the claw blade. But yeah, that's that's anime fairy, arcade fairy, still a really really good dinosaur. We have defense type, we have counter type, we have high defense type and we have revival type so fairy is quite a defensive secret dinosaur it has the 2000 strength 1000 technique format which makes it really really good and i would say out of the trio of first wave secrets i would say it is n numero tuno and it deserves a spot in s tier because i do think it is really really strong okay now for the pachycephalosaurus Again, you know, Pachycephalosaurus, same thing, same thing as Fairy, has the thousand technique, two thousand strength threshold. The secret moves aren't really too special because they're just attacks. So we can't really say that the fairy secret moves are better than the Pachys, because they all do the same damage, and these three actually have the exact same attack stats, with the exception of their crits, of course, because they have different crits. But overall, but in terms of total attack, these three are the same. Well, except for the Deinonychus, which it has an attack type variant, but I'll get to Deinonychus in a minute. So yeah, the Pachycephalosaurus, high type, blitz type, and strength type, which can be really good on this guy. Pachycephalosaurus, a very solid secret dinosaur. I'd say it's the worst out of the trio though, but it certainly deserves an S tier spot. A very, very good di secret dinosaur, a very, very good dinosaur in general, and, and in fact, I do believe it act, it sees actual tournament participation in official tournaments, the Pachycephalosaurus. So that just shows you how good it was and how good it is. I wonder I wonder why it I I would be curious as to why the Pachycephalosaurus saw tournament play, but the Fairy and the Deinonychus didn't. And I can only hunch that it's a re result of two things. One it could be his battle type, so everyone probably might have used the strength type one. Or, because his crit is scissors. Not that I don't know why that would have anything to do with it, because, as I said, my, their attacks are relatively balanced. Yeah, I'll show you their attacks real quick. As you can see here, yeah, they have 540, 620. So yeah, these two are S tier, these three are S tier, they're solid. They're just really good dinosaurs. Alright, now for the Deinonychus, which I'm just going to say straight up. 
With the exception of the uh, Super Fairy, I think Deinonychus is the best secret dinosaur. Which is ironic because it was the first one, and if you use the attack type version, then these stats go up to two, well, 2000 total attack. 640, 720, 640. 720 basically outs any of these other secret dinosaurs in terms of crit. 640, again, 640 base attack, normal attacks, bait, outbeat, outkill, if I can get my words out today, out ousts any of these other secret dinosaurs as well. And 640 is actually stronger than these guys' is crit. So having an attack type version gives Deinonychus quite a big advantage over the other two. And, you know, it's Estia. It's, it's such a good secret dinosaur. And you know what I find interesting? I feel like Deinonychus' secret moves get triggered a lot easier than the other two as well. But I, f I feel like the Deinonychus is the easiest one out of the three to get secret moves. And then the fairy and then the packy. I don't know if it's uh, just me or the way the game works or the way that their secret moves work but I do feel like some of the secret dinosaurs have a harder time getting their moves triggered than others but not Deinonychus. Deinonychus has a much easier time getting its secret moves triggered than every than the others and for that reason I have to put it in S tier. It's just a really 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 good dinosaur. It also has crisis type and reform type and revival type variants but obviously you want to use the attack type one, it's just beastly. Alright, now for our second wave of secrets. And notice how I'm going in order of their release. Notice that. Well, except for the Super Fairy, but Super Fairy, we don't really need to discuss that. Alright, now for Megalosaurus. And I'm probably going to say this now, and none of these di none of these are going into S tier. So that is going to be S tier. So Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus has quite a strong crit for a secret dinosaur. A lot of these secret dinosaurs are more balanced stats, but Megalosaurus's crit does stick out a bit more. It has reform type and warning type, so two pretty good battle type. Megalosaurus can definitely pack a punch, and I have noticed that Megalosaurus can do an arse ton of damage, and its, and its secret moves get triggered quite a bit, like Deinonychus as well, so however, it does fall short as all of these do on the fact that it has 200 technique which definitely hurts it and let's be honest if if all of these had a thousand technique i'd probably put them all into s tier <laughs> that's just that's just how it is but unfortunately megalosaurus does fall short of s tier so i'm gonna put it in 80. i would say out of these four i'd say is number two okay now for papasaurus now the interesting thing about papasaurus is it has quite low attack for a secret dinosaur you look at the total attack, with the exception of Eoraptor, it actually has the lowest attack out of all of these. Some of these attack stats are quite weird. Like Megalosaurus and Apatosaurus, you know, kind of make sense, but these two kind of don't. So yeah, Papasaurus, very weak in attack. Its secret moves, it's kind of in the middle with how often they get their secret moves triggered. Yeah, I'd probably say Papasaurus is the weakest out of the secret dinosaurs, and I'm going to put it in B tier. I think the attack really lets it down in comparison to the others, and, and it has 200 technique. Papasaurus definitely got the short end of the stick in terms of how strong these secret dinosaurs are. It's still a really strong dinosaur, but in comparison to its other secret dinosaur counterparts, it's not on par. It's not really on par with them. It's not too great, unfortunately. Okay, now for Crowlophosaurus. Again, like the like the Papasaurus, Crowlophosaurus has weird attack stats, but that helps it out because it gets buffed up to 1900, which is quite high, and it has extremely balanced stats. So you don't, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It does, it's it's like the Cryo doesn't even have a crit because all of its moves do pretty much the same amount of damage, which helps it. Well, I say, I say it helps it out, because no matter what move you get off, you're going to do a decent amount of damage. Obviously, sometimes it does pay off to have a really high crit, but secret dinosaurs don't have access to them heavy-hitting moves that the other dinos have, like the, the burning dashes, the magma blasters, the hydro cutters, those kind of moves. But yeah, Crowlophosaurus definitely packs a punch in the attack department, but even with this impressive attack, it still falls short of the attack type Deinonychus. So yeah, other than, if that weren't the case, then Cryo would have the best attack out of the secret dinosaurs. It has the highest rock crit, they can be proud of that. But yeah, Crowlophosaurus, tie recovery type, and I think it has strength type. So yeah, two really good battle types. And I would say out of these four secret dinosaurs, Cryo is the best. And I'm gonna, it doesn't deserve S tier because of its low technique, so it does lack little versatility in that aspect. But it definitely deserves a high A. 
Cryolophosaurus, a very good secret dinosaur. They definitely did it well. Okay, now for a Patasaurus. Now the thing with a Patasaurus is it, if you use, it has lethal type. So if you do use the lethal type one, it does in fact have the highest crit out of all the secret dinosaurs. However, I do feel like the Apatosaurus falls short on the fact that from my experience, its secret moves don't get triggered that often. And I'd say out of all the secret dinosaurs, it doesn't get its secret moves off as often as all these guys do. So a Patasaurus definitely gets hurt because of that. And it also has 200 technique, which hurts it too. I know people think, well, technique doesn't matter on secret dinosaurs because the secret moves don't need them. But it, do it does matter if you want to use other moves on them. But yeah, a Patasaurus does fall short. I don't think it's as good as these two. But it's definitely not as bad as Papa. So yeah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it by here. I think it deserves a low A. I still think a Patasaurus is a pretty good dinosaur, secret dinosaur. Not as good as the Cryo or any of these guys. I'd say I'm more on par with the Megalosaurus. But Megalosaurus, I think, edges it out because of how often its secret moves get triggered in comparison to the Apatosaurus. If the Apatosaurus' secret moves got triggered more often, it would probably go. It would probably go above the Cryo, maybe. But based on the fact that it doesn't get its secret moves off that often, I have to put it below them both. Okay then, now we save the best for last, the Eoraptor. Now, the Eoraptor is one of those dinosaurs where it depends on the format that you're play using it. If it's a tag team format, then Eoraptor is S tier. It is the best secret dinosaur. Eoraptor goes up here. If it's tag team format, Eoraptor's up here. It's just that good. It is in fact it's not even good it's just completely broken it is so insane if you use it in tag team form because you can have it in second and then every time you get a hit eoraptor will get off a support effect so you'll either inflict extra damage with a volcano burst remove one of your opponent's moves with a shockwave increase your own attack and gain a sliver of health which makes no difference increase increase your defense with an earth barrier effect heal yourself up a bit with the nature's blessing effect or be able to attack in a tie with a cyclone effect. So, so, so good Eoraptor. And that's put down to the fact that it has 3,000 technique. And even with its weaknesses, which I'm going to go on to in a minute, it would still be S tier. It's just so broken. It is the best dinosaur you could use for tag team. However, in normal battles, that is where I think Eoraptor does fall short. Fragility it is extremely fragile. Like how how can they how can Sega give it two thousand strength if it can get one shotted by several different dinosaurs and said dinosaurs don't even need to have an insanely powerful crit to one shot it. Like, I could name about five or six dinosaurs that could one shot T Rex, Tajongosaurus, Megaraptor, hell, any probably even these secret dinosaurs could one shot it. It is so fragile and when you I have found that when you do swipe the moves, because the way your raptor works is that you you swipe a normal move, like you do for the secret dinosaurs to get a secret move, and then that move will be whatever element your raptor transforms into. So say for example, you use your raptor, it transforms into Sorophagonax. Swipe Tail Smash. That Tail Smash will either become Heat Eruption or Fire Cannon. I'm not sure about Magma Blaster though, I have not seen a Magma Blaster on an Eoraptor. But in the case of Fire, which we'll use for an example, Eoraptor can have Fire Cannon, Blazing Spin, Fire Bomb, Heat Eruption, or Burning Dash. I think that's a way of nerfing it, because if it could, if it had access to things like Death Fire, Flare Sword, thing, Volcano Burst, if it had access to all the fire moves, then I think Eoraptor would be a little bit too broken because of its insanely high technique. Yeah, if you use it, if you use it in a tie, it gets off heat eruption pretty much every time. And in fact, if you combo it with green impulse and you get the tie, you basically get a free hit because the green impulse effect will heal the Eoraptor up and that healage will surpass the amount of damage that the Eoraptor took during the tie. So if you get a green impulse off, then that's basically a free hit, which is insanely good. Given how insanely good Eoraptor's technique is, you're going to get green impulse off. So Eoraptor's one of those wild cards where it can either be really, really, really deadly or really, really, really bad and die instant. So based on its weaknesses, as good as it would be in tag matches, I can't put it in S tier. And 
Let's just have a look at his attacks real quick. Only 1,300 total attack. It's such low attack. Let's just compare it to a 1,000 strength dino real quick. Like Lillian Sternus has 1,400. 400, 600, 400. 400, 500, 400. Eoraptor is quite fragile in the attack department and the health department. Like, why they gave it 2,000... Why they show 2,000 strength on the card is just nonsense. It is utter nonsense. It should be it should be a thousand strength really. They should they should have shown a thousand strength on that on the card because that's how much health it basically has. It just gets one shotted. And I wouldn't even say it has a thousand health to be honest. And yes, it is a common misconception that people think that the cards the strength on the card. Hang on, I'll get a pick real quick. It's a common misconception that everyone thinks the strength on the card, which is this, is its actual attack. This isn't its attack, this is its health. That's is the strength is the dinosaur's health, not the attack. The attacks that well, they would be up here. But yeah, this is the health. This should be a thousand to be honest. It should not be one thousand, two thousand, it should be a thousand. So yeah, I'm gonna put it Like it's such an awkward one because if again, as I said, if it's tag team, it's S tier. Anything else, then it does fall short. For how broken it can be, I am gonna put it in high A. If it had didn't have the weaknesses, like I said. I would have no problems putting it in S tier, but I think the weaknesses do balance it out a bit. So, as broken as Eoraptor can be, I think its weaknesses do balance it out. And for that reason, I'm going to put it in A tier. It is a high A tier. I do think it is better than these guys. But I think these four out here are better than Eoraptor. And yes, that is going to wrap up the secret dinosaur tier list. No, not much of a tier list, to be honest, because it's like, well only nine of them but yeah that's that's it so i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and leave a comment down below would you like me to do more tier list dinosaur king tier lists would you like me to do move cards and super move cards because i would be more than happy to do that as that's the only thing i could really do now but anyway until then this is stranger gamer signing out <laughs>